very, very long relationship. It's an unbreakable one. This is one of the safest places in the world. The health insurance, transport system. I really enjoy using like the U-Bike. I'll just come with my card and then Taiwan has actually been one of the best countries to be able to deal with this virus. <laughs> Wonder, my dear friend, from Kingdom of Eswatini. The Kingdom of Eswatini is a very good friend of Taiwan, and you have political relation with Taiwan. Can you tell uh, some information about uh, having relationship with Taiwan? Actually, when it comes to the relationship between Taiwan and Kingdom of Eswatini. This is a very, very long relationship. It's an unbreakable one, no? Strong bond. Mm -hmm. It dates back uh, when we gained our independence in 1968. When we gained our independence, our country was more like isolated. But what Taiwan did, it's so potential in us. What it did, it actually uh, gave us a helping hand. Uh, we have uh, students from Swaziland, they come to study in Taiwan. And also we have got medical team from Taiwan that goes to Swaziland. So what basically happened, uh, I would just say it's a mutual relationship. But sometimes, as you know, some African countries or other countries, they broke the relationship with Taiwan. But your country is still keeping it. What I can say about my country, my country, the relationship, it's not dollar based. But yes. it's based on mutual respect. Mm -hmm. It's not dollar based. You cannot buy the relationship. But what happened is this relationship was built many, many years ago before I was born. And it's been developing, developing all this time. It's, it's so strong such that in Swaziland, we, we have a number of people from Taiwan. And they are running uh, big businesses. They're actually uh, running factories, as I've said before. Those factories, they employ a number of Swazis. What's happening is Taiwan is doing something good, right? They are yes. making the people of Swaziland, they are also benefiting because they are working in these factories. That's number one. Number two, we've got uh, the people of Taiwan, like medical team. They are working together even when it comes to, uh, when it comes to hospitals. Uh, when it comes to hospital, like you go to Mbabane, that's the capital city in my country. Mbabane, you'll find that they are uh, doctors from Taiwan. Like right now, uh, we are trying to fight uh, this uh, COVID-19. So see. what's happening is Taiwan, they send medical team. They send masks and then different, different things to help my country. So what's happening is we've got local doctors in uh, Eswatini and we've got Taiwanese. Happy they are time. working together, helping the people. I see. Without Taiwan, uh, the situation would be very horrible mm -hmm. in my country. But Taiwan has given us... Uh, uh, it's given us help, a big, 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 big help when it comes to uh, curing uh, or rather dealing with this COVID-19. What did uh, change in your life after you got the scholarship from Taiwan? A lot of things changed. I've learned a number of things. The list is countless. Also, when it comes to my mindset, before, before I came to Taiwan, I remember my first time when I came here, they would like say, hey, try this thing, try this. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I was like way back. I was afraid to try new things. But now because I'm in Taiwan, I'm open to different cultures and I'm open to new things. You know, when you ask me to try something new, I'm actually uh, willing to like, oh, what's that? What's that? Like I will uh, engage myself into learning uh, something new. And also when it comes to the classroom and because I'm actually studying in Taiwan, I've learned a number of different things like Taiwan, they are good professors in Taiwan. They actually teach, uh, they teach, uh, they, they, they give uh, a lot of information. The lectures in Taiwan, actually they are quite friendly, very, very friendly, you know. The lectures in Taiwan, they are friendly. The people of Taiwan, the students, you know, it's very easy to interact with. You know, you, you, you get to live with people that have got good hearts and that actually changes you, you know, because one thing which I think has kept Taiwan and Swaziland together, it's uh, these people. They, if you go to my country, if you come to Taiwan, both people, when you meet these people, they, they, they want to help, always willing to help. Taiwanese, you meet uh, Taiwanese, are, 
hey, they always uh, like, how, how can I help you? How can... The same thing when you go to my country. How can I help you? How can I help you? Friendly the people, people are nice. The Taiwanese are nice. So this is what uh, keeping Taiwan and Swaziland together. That is good. That is yeah. very good. As an African, have you ever uh, encountered any discrimination in Taiwan? Uh, so far, nothing. I haven't encountered any discrimination. What you want to say uh, to the world about Taiwan? It's a wonderful country. Peaceful country. It's worth visiting. And as the world, we have got a lot to learn from Taiwan. Especially when it comes to uh, this virus we're dealing with right now, COVID-19. We all know all over the world that Taiwan has actually been one of the best countries to be able to deal with this virus. We need to know what made Taiwan to be successful in dealing with this virus. We need to know what makes Taiwan to have the best health system in the world. What can, what can we learn from all these good things in Taiwan? We need to learn and pick up all these things. And actually, what I want is the world to appreciate the beauty of Taiwan. Taiwan is one of the most beautiful places you can ever visit. Taiwanese people, they are very friendly. Taiwanese people are welcoming. Come to Taiwan. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you very Shere. much, because we all know Taiwan is a nice place, but I want to share uh, more about Taiwan. I want more people in the world, international arena, know about Taiwan because Taiwan gave us a place to live, study, make money. That's I have true. my I have my wife That's from true. Taiwan. <laughs> my kids <laughs> were born here, so we are happy to be in Taiwan, and I hope the world recognizes Taiwan uh, because Taiwan really works the best things in the world. Bye bye. Bye bye. How you say bye bye in your language? Bye, it's more like the same. Everywhere. Really same? I think even in your country, when you say bye, you just say bye. You say in my country. Gure gure. Oh, gure gure. In my country, what do we say? It's bye. Oh, bija bija Longer. Bye. bye.